Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Height Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing the numerical expressions section, place value, that's in the 2019 Star Math Test Prep Workbook for fourth graders. If you do not have your workbook yet, there will be a link in the description box where you can purchase yours for $15.99. And remember, fourth graders, you were made to be awesome. Let's get started. Num question number one says, Rita bought three and forty-eight hundredths pounds of bananas at the store. How is this number written in expanded notation? Answer A is three times one plus four times one-tenth plus eight times one hundred. B, three times one hundred plus four times ten plus eight times one. C, three times one plus four times one hundredth. And remember, with that decimal, I'm saying hundredth with the TH at the end, plus eight times one tenth. Again, with the TH at the end. D, three times one hundred, plus four times one tenth, plus eight times one hundredth. Most important question, what are we looking for? We are looking for how the number 48 hundreds is written in expanded notation. Our next question is, what, what information do we need that can help us find the answer? We need to know our number, which is 3 and 48 hundreds. And if you notice, we've highlighted each number so that when we're looking at our answers, we can find out what our correct answer is. How do we solve the problem? The way that we solve this problem is with a place value chart. And in the bottom right hand corner, we see our place value chart. We have three and, that and means that there's a decimal point, 48 hundredths. Our three is in the ones place, that means three times one, plus our four is in the tenths with the THS is in the tenths place. So that's four times one tenth plus eight. And if we look at our eight, it's in the hundredths place. That's eight times one hundred. This is how we solve the problem. So again, in our expanded notation is three times one because our three is in the ones place. 4 times 10, 1 tenth, because the 4 is in the tenths place, plus 8 times 1 hundredths. What is the correct answer? So in looking at our answer choices, can you tell me what the correct answer is? If you said A, you are absolutely correct. And looking at answer A, it matches our answer. It matches our answer. We have three times one, four times one tenth, plus eight times one hundred. That is three and forty-eight hundredths. Good job. Let's move to question number two. The counter shows the number of times a website has been visited. What is the value of the digit four in this number? So we have a picture of our counter and we see that we have three zeros, then a comma, 724, comma, 356. Our answer choices are F, 400, G, 40, H, 4, J, not here. What's our most important question to start with? What are we looking for? We are looking for the value that of the four digit in the number 724,356. Our next question is, what information can help us find the answer? So in order to find the answer for this problem, what we need to do is write out our number. Now, if you notice, I did not put the three zeros there. They're just like placeholders because they don't have a value because we know that zero means nothing. There's no need for us to write it down. So what we have is 724 
comma 356 okay and we've highlighted the four in blue so that we can keep track of it how to solve the problem well in order for us to solve this problem we need the place value chart and here it is if you notice we have on the bottom right hand corner the green block is the thousands is hundreds ten hundred thousands ten thousands and then thousands and then the ones block is hundreds tens and ones so let's put our number in there seven hundred twenty four thousand three hundred fifty six to see what value that digit four would have okay this is how we solve the problem so what is the correct answer let's look at let's look at our answer choices we know based on our place value chart that the four is in the thousands place okay so the value of the digit is four thousand looking at our answer choices can you tell me what the correct answer is if you said j you are absolutely correct it is not here now this problem could seem a little tricky because sometimes in your mind you'll be like it has to be here not here is a way to trick you but if you find out what you're looking for figure out what information you need to solve the problem and how to solve it and you've solved it and the answer is not there put not here be confident about your answer don't try to make it fit just because your answer may not at match the answer choices that are given okay let's move to question number three a stadium sold 33,300 tickets to a concert which statement about this number is true a the value of the digits in the tens place is 10 times the value of the digit in the hundreds place B, the value of the digit in the thousands place is one tenth the value of the digit in the ten thousands place. The value of the digit in the hundreds place is ten times the value of the digit in the thousands place. And D, the value of the digit in the ten thousands place is one tenth the value of the digit in the hundreds place. We already know our first question. What are we looking for? Well, we're looking for which answer choice or statement is true about our number 33,300. What information can help us find the answer? Okay, so to solve this problem, we need to take a deep dive into the place value chart and look at what happens as we move from one place value to the next. So let's look at our, our picture on the bottom right hand corner. If you notice, as we move from the ones place to the tens place, we're multiplying by 10. So in essence, every time we move one place to the left, we are moving 10 times that number, okay? So like for an example, for our ones place, when we multiply it by 10, we move to the tens place. Well, that's one is 10 times, I'm sorry, 10, the tens place is 10 times the value of the ones place. And then let's look at from the hundreds to the tens. We have from tens, we multiply by 10, and that's how we get to the hundreds place. So the hundreds place is 10 times the value of the tens place. Now, that was at the bottom. Let's look at what happens when we move to the right from one place value to another. Let's take the 10 thousandths place. The 10 thousandths place, excuse me, the 10 thousandths place is one tenth the value of the 100 thousandths place. And again, let's look at from the thousands to the hundreds, the, the hundreds place is one tenth the value of the thousands place. So remember, when we're moving from on the place value chart, when we're moving to the right, whatever the, we're moving one tenth at a time. 
But when we're moving to the left, each place value that goes to the left, it's 10 times that value, okay? So how do we solve our problem? Let's break it down a little bit more. So let's take each answer choice, figure out what it's saying, and then decide whether or not it's true, okay? A, the value of the digit in the tens place is 10 times the value of the digit in the hundreds place. Well, let's look. It's 10, a digit in the tens place, 10 times the value of a digit in the hundreds place. No, it's not. Actually, the, ten, the value of the digit in the tens place is one tenth the value of the digit in the hundreds place. Because remember, when we're moving to, excuse me, when we're moving to the right, that is 10 times that number, but 10 is not 10 times the value of the digit of the tens place. It's not 10 times the value of the hundreds place. So let's look at B. The value of the digit in the thousands place, we see our thousands place, it's kind of a light blue uh, color, is one-tenth the value of the digit in the ten thousands place. So from the thousands place, is it one-tenth the value of ten thousands? Yes, it is. Actually, the thousands place is one-tenth the value of the ten thousands place. How do we know that? Because in order to go from the ten thousandths place to the thousandths place, we go is um, divide by one tenth. Let's look at C. The value of the digit in the hundreds place is ten times the value of the digit in the thousandths place. So what it's basically saying is the one hundred place is ten times the value of the digit in the thousands place. Is that true? Oh, and another way of saying it is like, for instance, it's saying that 400 is 10 times the value of 4,000. Is that true? No, it's not. Actually, 400 is one tenth the value of 4,000. So C is incorrect as well. Let's look at D. The value of the digit in the 10 thousands place is one tenth the value of the digit in the hundreds place. That's like saying 40,000 is one tenth the value of the digit in the, like 400. Is that correct? Absolutely not. So based on our analysis, we know that A, C, and D are incorrect. We can cross these out. And what is our correct answer? B, that's absolutely correct. That's all that was left, okay? The value of the digit in the thousands place is one-tenth the value of the digit in the ten thousands place. And that is it. This is actually part one of uh, the place value section because there are a little bit more problems and we just wanted to do three this time. And for the next video, part two, there would be three other questions dealing with place value. This has been Shay Jackson with Height Math. Remember, if you do not, if you have not purchased your workbook to follow along, there will be a link in the description box where you can purchase your 2019 Star Math Test Prep Workbook for fourth graders for $15.99. And also to let you know that fourth graders will be taking their star math test on Monday, May 13th. Talk to you soon.